The ceasefire ended at eight o'clock in the morning and in the minutes and hours after that truce ended, we've seen and heard a number of explosions here in Gaza. Uh, our team has seen the plume of white smoke of Palestinian rockets being fired from Gaza towards Israel. And we've also seen and heard a number of incredibly loud explosions which indicate that Israel, as it says, has resumed its airstrikes on Gaza. As I speak to you now, I haven't heard reports of casualties, uh, but very clearly there will be a sense of fear among the residents of Gaza. Just looking around the streets, I can see very, very few people uh, out and about at the moment. It is, of course, the day of rest, but I think many people will have heard the fact that the ceasefire is over and they will not be confident enough to go out into the street and to resume their normal lives. Hamas says it's not yet got anything from those indirect negotiations uh, in Cairo. It wants an end to Israeli restrictions, an ability to use the ports of Gaza, an ability uh, to get people to come and go from the borders. But Israel says that its priorities are very different. It wants Hamas and other groups, including Islamic Jihad, to disarm for good. And so there is a clear gap between those sides, the Israeli side and the Palestinian side. And once again, the people of Gaza find themselves listening to and experiencing explosions.